Good morning, YouTube. It's Dharma Jones, and yes, I am in my bed. Uh, you don't normally or ever see me as I'm waking up in bed, but here I am cuddling one of my squishmallows as I prepare to get out of bed and get ready for the day. But what I'm going to do today is go to the beach, and I think that I said that I would do that last week for this week's video. So I'm going to keep my promise. I need to look through the comments on my pink bikini try on video and see which bikini got the most votes. Cause I said that uh, if you guys voted for your favorite pink bikini that I would wear it to my first beach outing for the year. So today seems like a good day for it. It's Saturday. The weather is pretty nice. The sun is shining. Um, it might be a little chilly there, but I'll bring some extra clothes just in case. Um, but it'll be nice to just lay there and get some sun. So I'm gonna bring you along with me. Um, but first I need to wash my face, take my vitamins and have a little breakfast. So BRB. Hello again. <laughs> I am sitting in bed, eating my breakfast. Mm. <laughs> so delicious. Um, okay. So I went through the comments on that pink bikini try on haul video to see what you all voted for, for the bikini that I will wear to my first beach outing. There were three bikinis that tied. So <clears throat> I'm going to pick one of them out of this little thing and that'll be the bikini that I wear. So the options, <clears throat> the ones that were the winners were bubblegum pink, flower power, and candy cane. Let's see which one I will be wearing. I'm very curious. Bubblegum pink. Yay. Okay. So it's this color. This is what it looks like. And I'll be right back to show you what it looks like on. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who voted in the comments. It was a fun little thing to do. Thank you. Okay, here I am just in my normal clothes. And now I'm going to change into my bikini. Okay, here we are. This is the bubble gum pink bikini that won. So this is what I'll be wearing. I'll probably wear my um, crochet pants too as well. And now I have to go pack my bag so that I'm ready and prepared for all that the beach has in store for me. So come along. Okay, before I pack my bag, I'm going to put together some snacks for the beach. So I'm gonna cut this orange up. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon into my water and get a couple other snacks together. to be bringing hummus and walnuts for a snack. It is time to pack my beach bag. First off, my oranges, my hummus and walnuts, sunscreen, my wallet, a pair of sunglasses, which I'll probably just put on my head, <laughs> some chapstick. Did you see that? I just flew right in there a pair of undies to change into, a lollipop just in case, a headband just in case, a hat just in case. I chose white because black is not good when it's the sun's just beating down on you. A pair of headphones, and yes, I still have the wire headphones because F AirPods. And my water, and I think Oh, my beach blanket and my hand serum. 
I think that's all I need. The only thing I need to grab is a towel and I should be good. I am finally in the car. I'm ready to go. But first I wanted to stop at Erewhon and get a smoothie. And then I wanted to stop at the bakery I used to work at in Santa Monica called Padaria. We're gonna get a treat for the beach. I know I brought some snacks, but since I'll be in that area, I might as well get a little treat for myself, right? Mm-hmm, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna start driving and the next time you see me, we will be at Padaria, okay. 40 minutes later, I made it to Padaria. Let's go. Look at all that yumminess. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I could have it all, but I ended up choosing the cheese and samada. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I got my stuff. Ah. And now I'm at Air One to get my smoothie and I'm gonna get some pita chips too, cause I ran out. I'm in Air One now and there was a lady who complimented on me on my pants. She said I looked fabulous, so my day has been made. I have some food and a drink and I'm waiting for my smoothie. I'm so happy right now. I needed to send a couple packages and the post office in Santa Monica closed at three, but I made it with like five minutes to spare. I had to go around a few times to find a parking spot, but I finally found one and the packages are sent. Ah, relief. Now, I'm off to the beach. Hi guys, I'm here at the beach. I'm walking down from the park to the ocean now. It's super busy in Santa Monica today. It's kind of, people are annoying me today. So hopefully I can find a nice private spot that I can just relax. Okay, now I gotta walk down there. Look how beautiful it is. I'm walking down the steps and it smells like human piss, so that's great. Yay! I went to choose my spot and I found a corgi. Look at him. Mm. I made it to the beach. I have my little setup, my picnic blanket and all my food. My oranges, I got little, I don't know what they're called. They're little bread things for hummus. And I got something from Padaria. It is called an ensamada, and I got it with two year aged white cheddar. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna open the box up. This is what it looks like. It is a Filipino brioche roll. It's really buttery and it has butter sugar on the top and then the, like I said, two year aged white cheddar on top. And it's one of my favorite things. I actually used to work at Padaria a couple of years ago and I ate this like three times a week, which probably isn't very good for me, but it's a treat. Definitely. Let's have our first bite. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I've been waiting for this. So stinking good. Mm. And I got a turmeric crush smoothie from Erewhon. It's like half gone already because I was thirsty. This has carrots, pineapple, orange juice, turmeric, and something else, but I don't know what it is. It's kind of spicy. Oh, it has beet juice in it too. It's kind of spicy, but it's good. These are my eyes. It's too sunny for me to not have my sunglasses on. But yeah, I'm gonna chill. Santa Monica is significant in my life. I, in 2020, before the pandemic started, I wanted to move to California. I just got that like inspiration to move here. So I decided that I would visit before to see if I liked it because I didn't want to come all the way here from Massachusetts and hate it and then you know so I came here for a week and I booked a place in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard to stay and I hated it I show up 
I hated it. It's too crazy. I didn't know that's what it was going to be like. So then I got there and I was like, I don't want to be here. So I went to the front desk and I asked, uh, hey, like, am I able to get a refund for my stay? And he's like, yeah, minus the first night's fee. I was like, okay, that's fine. So I got five nights back and I was like, is there anywhere that you recommend me to stay? And he's like, well, just from your vibe, I would say Santa Monica. And I had no idea what Santa Monica was. So I was like, okay. So I found a place to stay. And I think it was about the same price that I um, paid for the other place. So it was perfect. And I show up and I realize it's the ocean. And it just is absolutely beautiful. And I fell in love. I was like, I'm going to move here. So when I went back to Massachusetts, my goal was to end up being in Santa Monica. Um, and then when I moved here back in 2021... I ended up getting a job at the bakery in Santa Monica and I ended up <laughs> getting promoted as a supervisor so I spent a lot of time here I would go to the beach and watch the sunset um, if I ever needed to like relax or like a pick-me-up and I really enjoyed working at the bakery the views here are amazing I love the ocean I'm an ocean girly I'm a bikini girly I'm a sun girly so I'm happy here I don't think I'll move to Santa Monica ever, but being 40 minutes away is good enough for me right now. So I'm gonna keep enjoying my ensamada. I'm gonna have some orange slices soon, maybe some hummus. Keep sipping my smoothie. And maybe I'll put my feet in the water soon. Who knows? So it's really busy, so you can't really see the whole landscape of the mountains in the background. It's foggy there, but it's just so beautiful. I love it. And I'm really happy to see families and just people out here enjoying themselves after so many days of gloomy, June gloom. Not warm, cloudy, not raining, but just overcast. So I'm really grateful for the sun today, being able to come here and getting all my stuff done so that I could come. It's funny because when I started working at Padaria and they wanted me to try the ensamada, I was like, no, I'm not going to like it. It looks gross. And then eventually, probably like a couple weeks goes by and I'm like, maybe I should try it just to see. And I ended up loving it and ended up being my favorite thing on the menu. Other than the peanut butter chocolate cookie, that is delicious. So. Mm. I'll pour it just blew by. I'm taking my final bite of my ensamada. Mm. Yum. That was delicious. Thank you to Padaria for making that. And thank you to me for buying it. <laughs> final sip of smoothie. Ooh. There are some guys playing soccer behind me. They better not hit their ball. Ah, delectable. I think the hummus and the oranges are gonna have to wait because I'm full now. So <laughs> I'll probably eat them when I get home. Please enjoy the next 14 seconds of me being cute for the camera. <laughs> Now that I'm done eating, I'm going to just lay around, do some meditating, and then put my feet in the water if I'm feeling adventurous. So BRB. fall asleep but I was meditating I'm a changed woman now I'm very relaxed kind of have to pee I'm getting kind of chilly because the wind is windy so I might leave soon and go home I'm also getting a little hungry now so I might have my oranges and my hummus 
I'm way too relaxed now. I don't even know if I'm gonna get up to put my feet in the water. <laughs> Again, enjoy the next six seconds of me being cute for you. I thought that this shot was really cool, so I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> it's a funny story. I was just approached by this man. He's with a group of his friends. And he's like, hey, why are you here alone? And I'm like, because I like to be alone. That was my response. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he wanted to talk to me, and I, I was just like, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll play along. Well, I have little mascara under my eye. <laughs> um, and he asked what I do for my job, and I told him. I'm, I'm always honest. And he's like, oh my god, I've never met um, a performer, if you know what I mean. And I was like, yeah, he's like, it's cool, but it's also awkward. And he's like, I don't know what to say now. And he's like, maybe sometime we can get together and have an appointment. And I was like, no. No. <laughs> anyway, he's like, well, it was nice to meet you. And he walked away. <laughs> Funny things that happen to Dharma when she's in public. I got to go pee pee. So I think I got to pack my stuff up and skedaddle out of here. And I have to look at the traffic and see how long it's going to take me to get home. Because, yeah, it might take a long time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pack up now. Oh, there's a nice family above my shoulder. Nice. <laughs> My day at the beach has come to an end because I'm getting chilly and hungry. I ate my hummus and my oranges. I don't have a meal at home. I'm wearing my sweatshirt now. <laughs> and I'm going to go home and edit this video together so you can watch it tomorrow. I am making my ascent up the stairs. So wish me luck. And I also put this headband in. And my eyes look like a raccoon. Because my mascara was coming off. Ugh, man. The sun, the sun is shining, <laughs> and I am smiling. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. Sunrise. Whoa, look at the sun. Whoa, now it's gone. Look at, whoa, yeah. I'm driving through Beverly Hills to get home, and I guess the US Open is happening here. I didn't know that, and so some streets are blocked off. It's taking me longer to get home now. I don't know why the maps brought me through this way. So. Hmm. I wanted to show you these pretty trees as I'm driving home and it's going out of focus. Okay, look at it. So pretty. I'm home from the beach. I had a nice day, a nice relaxing day, and I got some upsetting news on the way home. My mom called me and she said my great grandma, who was, oh, hello. <laughs> My great grandma, who was uh, 101, passed away last night. So I'm gonna need to make travel plans to go to her services for Monday. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. As I edit this video, we'll be put, uh, making flight plans and rental car plans and seeing where I'm gonna stay. So that's upsetting. But I had a nice day and I get to see my family, so that's good. And I have raccoon eyes, so that's amazing too. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, this thing's really annoying me right now, so I'm gonna move it. And I'll see you next week for another Silly Sunday. Love you, bye.